Okay, guys, before I go straight into the game, um, I wanted to go straight into this, which is, uh, real quick, which is, um, it's a riddle I posted here on Instagram, and, uh, I wanted to see who could all figure it out, and I actually said, comment your answer to this riddle, and we will see who the, who my lucky shout-out winner will be. I will announce the winner after I wake up in the morning, which I didn't really announce it this morning, and I was a little slow, but I'm announcing it now, video number three, which it goes like this, I am a fruit, that's the, that's the big hint, I am a fruit, if you take away my first letter, I'm a crime, if you take away my first two letters, I'm an animal, and if you take away my first and last letters, I'm a form of music. What am I? Have you guessed it yet? Well, these three lovely followers of mine, they all got it right. So, basically, uh, yeah, so like I said, take away the first letter. What do you see? What word do you see? That's, that's the crime. That is definitely a crime. Take away the first two letters. So you take away the first and the second letter. And what do you get? You get the animal. And then if you take away the first and the last letter, you get the form of music. So anyways, I decided that since they were the only three, that answered um, the riddle and answered correctly. They are all going to get shout outs. Because I only ended up with three people who actually participated. So, first of all, I'm going to go to Miss Gay Pride Override. Um, trying to, there we go. Gay Pride R Override uh, is a wonderful, wonderful follower. Uh, I don't know how long she's been following me for. But, anyways... Um, yeah, so this is her, um, Instagram, so for those of you who are not currently following her, please go and do so. Uh, thank you so much for being the first person to answer and to answer correctly, so good job. And then my next lovely follower, Mark and Jack's Adam's Apples, which is also known as my Insta bestie, my Insta sister, Miss Veronica Rowling, or Ronnie so she goes by Ronnie Rowling on uh on YouTube. So, anyways, uh, this is her lovely, lovely, um, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye fan account. She is just a bundle of joy. She's happy to be around. I'm happy to be around her. Um, on Instagram, um, she's just, I just love her. I love her to death. It's one of the reasons why I named one of my sim babies after her. So, huh, anyways, that's a really good edit. I'm going to go ahead and double tap that while I'm at it. Anyways, um, so yeah, that right there is Mark and Jack's Adam's Apples, Miss Ronnie Rowling. Thank you so much, Ronnie. And then last but not least, Kawhi Chan. Come on down, Crystal Cat. She's a seventh grader, apparently, and this is her lovely, lovely account. This is my absolute favorite picture. I saw this one just a while ago and double tapped it. Join the crazy side. We have Harley Quinn, and it looks like it was Harley's birthday that day, So, or the actress that was playing her, so I don't know. Um, I'm assuming maybe this is her right here. Maybe this is Kawhi Chan. If this is you comment down below let me know if that's you because that would be awesome um you're gorgeous by the way and that's a really great filter for you um so yeah i guess that's about it one last little picture just for fun oh it's a purple kitty it's so cute okay so that is my shout out for those three winners and like i said i just i felt like you know since I only ended up with three people, I might as well just do shout outs for all three of them. So thank you girls so much for, um, for being a part of this riddle. That is awesome. So now I am going to go straight back into the game. What up peeps? It's your girl, Tabby Kid Cat Woman, where the Kit Cats break and I'm not faking. Now let's take 
Dark Tales, Edgar Allan Poe's The Premature Burial to the next level. Um, I actually decided to play this instead of Rescue Lucy. Um, I might try to play that again some some other time or play it some other time, but I felt like getting back into this into the story where I left off. So let's just go straight into the game, shall we? So, we got a screwdriver, door handle, bell chain, pneumatic, uh, tooth key, yeah. Um, know exactly what the screwdriver's for. And there's a flower in there too. I got screws. Look at there. A rose by any other name would still be a rose. Alright. I guess. Julianne quickly. Okay. Along to Julianne. Most likely he threw it out the window in a fit of despair. Can't say I blame the poor man. Mm. So sad. I may end up crying because of this game. Okay, Ghostly and Ghastly. Detective Dupin and I feel some measure of relief in seeing that the ghost does not resemble the photographs we have of the late Victorine. So it's not Julian's lost love who is haunting us. But who is? Sorry, I had a little burp in me. Okay, Julian Desperate. Or Julian Desperate? We've arrived at the house of the man who called us the, to the case on the Rue uh, Cemetery. Um, Julian Bousset, Bousset, uh contacted Dupin and me through friends, but we were busy with another case and delayed in responding till now. We've arrived to find that a resident is tossing keepsakes out the window. Could it be a culprit making his guilt known? Or is it, in fact, our very own client out of his right mind with grief? Hmm. Who knows? Okay. So... How do I fix the door? Oh, okay.
bell chain before we can do that. I just put a bell chain there. We have to find the bell chain before we can open this door. Oh. I thought that was a bell chain. Okay. That's where the screw goes. I did! Yay! Okay, now we're going into chapter two, guys. Chapter 2. Oh, man. Is that guy dead or asleep? Oh, he's, a, he's awake. Can you wake up? Sleeping men tell no tales. Okay. <laughs> it's good enough. That's a steady steam. Until it's switched off, those mailboxes are off limits. Wait, what does it say? We need to find the key to this door. Perhaps Julian himself has it. Okay. Oh, shoot. She's back. Um, hi. Um... Shoot. I missed what he said.
Really? I totally... Mm, I feel bad now. I don't even know what he said. Julian's apartment building appears to be a former hotel. We're not sure which apartment is his, but we know his surname, Bousset. Confirmed by name on a mailbox, we'll have to switch off airflow to the pneumatic tube, which prevents us from opening the mailbox. Mailbox is. Fickle Phantom. Again, we've been visited by our ghostly maiden. She seems to oppose us, but then at times, it is as if she is actively guiding our investigation. We're certain at least that she is not Victorine. Okay, so the stairs are broken. That's what it looks like. Um... Mail tubes. Oh, it looks like I gotta leave. Okay. Uh, pair, hook, glove, embroidery, and four o'clock. Um, Looks like embroidery and four o'clock are the really good ones, are the ones that we're going after here. Okay, got the four o'clock one. Pair. I see the pot anywhere? Wait, is that it? There it is. I know what embroidery looks like, and I thought that's what that was, but it's not. Yeah. 
Where's the glove? Okay. Where's the embroidery? I feel so stupid. This is one of those things where you have to tap on two things. So that. And then that. There you go. I didn't even have to look it up. I just like. I don't know. I. Okay. Now we got a hook. For what? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna play just a little bit longer, guys, but not that much longer. Um... Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. Okay. The key to this puzzle is to find the key. Speed is key. Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, um, yeah, and I am a little delayed on uploading videos today, but I'm definitely going to get them uploaded today. So please, please, please drop a like and leave a comment and subscribe to this video and all other contents of all other videos if you like this video please kick that like button where it hurts and i guess i will see you guys real soon peace out guys bye